Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha Kuznetsova and today I'm beyond excited because my new Rode Wireless Go microphone arrived at the post office and I cannot wait to go pick it up. So it is finally here and I cannot wait to open it, so let's just get to it. Pardon me for the loud noise, if you can hear all this box opening noise. Yay! Alright, there is my new wireless mic. Rode Wireless Go Mic. This is exciting. Ooh, we got a lot of things in here. First of all, we got the two transmitter and the receiver. That's cool. They're kind of tiny, pretty lightweight. I like that. All right, which one is what though? Made in Australia. I like that. The this one. This wireless mic that I have made in China and I don't know about that. I'm thinking about returning it. All right, so what else is in the box? Oops. That's a, looks like a USB cable. And this one hmm, looks exactly the same. I guess we get two USB cables. Unless it's something else. Safety instructions. Okay. Oh, look at those little things. Got two dad caps. It's a funny name for something like this. Pretty good quality comparing to the other one that I got from China. This one doesn't seem like it's losing any hairs so that's a good sign interesting they're so cute actually <laughs> little fuzzy balls <laughs> all right uh, do not eat glue a little cord connect to the camera a little tiny one and a little pouch. Oops, that probably was loud. Sorry, guys. A little pouch to, I guess, to keep everything in there. All right, let's see if I can figure out how it's supposed to work. Hi guys, I finally connected my new Rode Wireless Go microphone to the camera and I have to say it was really, really easy. All I had to do is I took everything out of the box, I turned on the receiver and the transmitter and I hooked up the receiver to the camera with the cord that was provided and that's pretty much it. I ran a test and the sound came out okay and now I'm recording with my new wireless mic. I'm using the internal mic right now so you guys let me know in the description below whether you think the sound is good or not. I would really appreciate your input on that. And then I'm gonna try to hook up the lav mic a little later on to see how the quality comes out then and hopefully I'll get to get out outside today and shoot some footage for you there as well. Alright so this is the first test that I'm doing today. Well I guess technically second test because the first one I was just testing whether the microphone works or not but right now I'm testing this lav mic this lav mic I already had it so I just hooked it up and I started recording and you guys if you would like to let me know in the comments below whether the sound is good with the lav mic all right guys let's do another test I have my lav mic plugged in right now because I think the sound quality comes out a lot better if using the lav mic but as I mentioned earlier, I'm using my old lav mic. I did not purchase the road lav mic that's recommended for this camera. But I wonder if I did purchase the road one, whether the sound quality would be even better than this. 
but whether you're using the lav mic or not you can adjust the gain on this microphone and I'm not a big techie person but as I understand that means that you can adjust the volume and it has three different settings it can be on low medium or high right now I'm recording on medium because that's the setting that's recommended for most voices and it's the most sufficient for most voices but you can depending on your voice you can adjust it to low or high or you can keep it on medium like I do but let's see if you can hear the difference so right now I switched to low setting and I'm just wondering if you guys can hear me well or whether you can hear me at all. And right now I'm recording on high setting. I hope that it doesn't sound too loud for you and I hope that I'm not hurting your ears. And if I do, just please turn this video off. No, just kidding. I'm going to bring it back to medium. And now the gain is back to medium setting. And guys, I have to say that so far I really like the microphone, especially if I'm using it with the lav mic. But my only thing would be is that I wish I could plug in my headphones so I can hear the sound before I record my videos. But other than that, I think it's a good microphone. I like how small it is. I like how nicely it fits on top of my camera. And I don't have to deal with all the bulky wireless setup that I used to have. But I'm kind of curious how it will perform outside. Well, this is the last test for today. I'm outside and I'm going to use the dead cat on the microphone to see how well it protects from the wind and some other noises. And I'm kind of curious to see how far I can walk away from the camera and still have good sound. So I'm just going to start walking. And right now I am about 50 feet away from the camera and I think the sound should be pretty good at this point. So the weather is nice, I'm gonna continue walking. And right now I'm about 100 feet away from the camera and I hope that you can still hear me okay. I probably will never need to be recording that far away from the camera, but it's just nice to know that I could if I needed to. And now I'm just gonna walk back to the camera and I'm gonna talk while I do that to see whether the sound gets cut off at any point or not. I don't think it will, but you never know. Well guys, that is all for today. I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, stay well and I will see you in the next video.